snatched eyebrows and gas okay so as you guys can see today i have contact lenses in i'm gonna try to switch up a bit more guys because i am so bored of brown boring eyes okay it's always the way you think the grass is greener on the other side so today i've got on desio lenses i've got a big batch of desio lenses that just come in recently and this is in the color caramel brown and i don't need these for sight i literally wear it just for looks for vanity you know but these are so pretty guys they're like a light hazel brown so for today's video we're going to be using the anastasia beverly hills prism palette i want to play this a bit more so i thought let me do a tutorial with this palette here so i'm going to start off by doing like a base in my crease first and i'm going to go in with a shade called eden it's like a peachy pink and then i'm going to dip into a little bit of satin as well this is just going to be my, oh, that's too bright, girl. God damn, I've got people into these eyeshadows off. Instead of using my pyjama pants, I'm going to try to commit myself to using a towel instead. So I'm going to go back and forth just in my crease. And this is just going to create like a light transition shade. I feel like with this palette, it's missing like a light brown. I feel like the only brown here is literally this one. And that's a bit too dark. I need like a light transition shade. So maybe I'll try a bit of lure. It's like a purpley kind of. So I'm just literally pushing this into my eyelid. This is like a peachy kind of purpley shade. I'm mixing it together with Eden and Lure to create a transition shade. By the way, guys, I'm using a Smith 232 brush, one of my favourite transition brushes. It used to be the MAC 242. That used to be my favourite. Now this one beats the cake. Okay, so this is quite a cool colour combination. I've never done this before. But we're going to go in with a blue on the lid. This is such a pretty colour, guys. It, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a... Turquoise? Is this turquoise? No, turquoise is lighter, I think. Ah, the teal. Teal. Maybe this is like a tealy colour. So this is brand new from Sleek. This is called the Eye Art Precision Liquid Liner Eye Colour. Mmm, tongue twister. It has such a cool brush, guys. It looks like a little lip gloss, but it's for the eyes. So let's put this on. First time I'm ever using it, so I don't know how pigmented it's going to be when I blend it out. So I like the little applicator. It's really nice to get precise. I'm going to use a MAC 217. I'm just going to blend out the edges. So I want this to fade into that neutrally colour. So no harsh edges, please. Oh shit, I just used my pyjama pants. I was meant to use that towel. Why can I never do a tutorial and actually keep things clean? So all I really want to do is just blend out the edges and then make sure that this colour is really nice on the lid. And then you want to make sure there's no harsh edges because it's going to be really hard to blend out if you do like a liquid that's really harsh. But even that, I think that's quite harsh, bitch. I'm doing my makeup from so far away. I need like a close-up mirror. I found my stolen Mac mirror. That's so many fingerprints, guys. <laughs> Rub that on my pyjama pants. Oh, crap. This is dried now. I can't even blend no more. Okay, I'm going to go back in with that Smith 232 brush. And then I'm going to fade out those edges again. Okay, so now that I've blended on both my eyes, I'm going to go on my bottom waterline with a colour before I add on the eyeshadow. So this is brand new from Urban um, Decay. Well, I just received it anyway, so it's brand new for me. But it's called Junkie. It's a 24-7 glide on pencil. I love these pencils. This one's super sparkly, I think. It's just going to go on my bottom waterline here. Create a really smoky lash line. And I really like these Urban Decay ones because they last on my waterline for so long. And I'm bringing it a bit lower so I can really blend it out and get really smoky smock. I always get scared doing my lash line with contact lenses because once I poked my eye and literally my whole contact was stained for life. I'm just going to use my same 217 from MAC, the one I use on my lid, just to blend out this pencil to get a bit of like a smoke going on. These pencils are really nice when you blend them out, but you have to blend them out quite quick because otherwise they'll set and then it'll be impossible to budge after that. Okay, so on my eyes I just blended it all the way round. I feel like in my crease I need to deepen it a bit because it's quite a harsh line between like this to that pinky peachy colour. So what you girls gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a bit of parallel which is this dark brown shade and then I'm gonna mix it with a bit of Eden as well so it has a two mix on my brush and then this is gonna go right in that 
top middle bit here helps fade that colour so it's a bit deeper in that green and then also on the outer corners is quite important as well because I want this bit to be the most smokier so it just helps it deepen it compared to this one here this one fades a bit easier now you want the fade to be as quick and smooth as possible then also bring it down below guys because you want the underneath here to be smoky as well so it matches the top okay so now we're going to go in with this shade here which I think is the most standout shade out of this whole palette it's called Throne mm, you can see I just swatched it here on my hand and it's so pretty guys it's like a green emerald it's so nice i'm gonna use it dry or should i use it wet let me use it dry first and then i'll go a bit wet after i'm using a flat shader brush this is from diego dalla palma and it's number 12 I'm so excited about this hopefully it won't drop everywhere because that'll be a disaster actually tap off the excess go right in the center it has like a good a tint of like purple as well i love intense smoky eyes like this especially with color as well i feel like i've fallen out of using like colored eyeshadows recently and i used to wear color all the time so i'm getting back on that train if there's any colors you want me to film with please comment down below any color combinations i want to know i need some inspiration please i'm also going to put this underneath as well just to make sure it's really intense by the lash line okay so on the inner corners here i feel like i need to brighten this look up a little bit i'm gonna go in with the shade called pyramid and it's like a really nice gold i'm gonna actually wet my brush i'm gonna use my um to all night setting spray i've been really loving this instead of water because i feel like it locks everything in a lot better than water because it's long wearing it's meant to make your makeup last so you know two bears one stone one pump and i've used this a wave around to get all the little particles of water floating in the air and this is a mac 233 brush and i'm gonna go in that pyramid shade at gold and i'm gonna pop this on the inner corners but quite far in on the inner corners here just as a, just a bit of light just on the inner corners i love teal and gold together because it looks really like majestic and really royal expensive darling yes so normally whenever i do my inner corners i kind of put it all in here but i'm kind of bringing it a bit further down so that my eyes look a bit more closer together a bit more intense so i'm bringing it more right on the side of my nose rather than all in here you know i'm really loving this vibe so far so i'm just gonna finish off with a bit of eyeliner and then i'm gonna put some lashes on i'm not gonna do like a winged eyeliner because i like how smoky it is but i do need to fill in you guessed it this waterland mm. so i'm gonna go in my favorite always i haven't found one that competes guys this is from mark jacobs and it is their highlighter in blacker and this is just the best guys it's super creamy it doesn't budge it's so good for the top lash line you have to be very picky about what pencil you use in your top waterline especially because they all transfer but this one is the only one that i found that does not transfer and it's so long wearing as well as super black i'm also going to bring this a little bit on the top lash line just to make sure it blends in and get the roots of the lashes really really dark all right guys so the lashes i'm going to go for today is from lily lashes and these are one of my favorite styles i really love miami and mykonos they're my top two from lily lashes and they're super nice and super fluffy as well so this is what they look like guys you see it's quite spiky but these are really nice when you're not wearing like a liquid eyeliner because it really goes right into the root and it looks really natural but still fluffy at the same time just quickly before before I put my lashes, it's not going to be a tweed tutorial without any glitter, bitch. But I found that this in my drawer and I was like, mm, this is so pretty to go perfect for this look. So this is from Urban Decay and it's called Spandex. Ow! Ow! Yeah! So this is really, really pretty and I tried it on top of my hand here. And it just looks so nice for this look. A little bit on the inner corners here. And then maybe just in the centre of my eyelid. And I literally just dot it on first. And I just use my finger just to blend it out. And it's just literally in the middle just to add a bit of pajam, you know. Just a little bit so when I turn my head it just has a bit of sheeny sheen. A bit more drama in your life. Spice up your life. Everybody in the world, spice up your life. Oh my god, my lash glue is dry. No! So now that I have my eyelashes on, they are so nice and fluffy. I feel like I'm just so inspired by like the midnight sky right now. So I thought, let me pick this out from my glitter collection and it's from lip cosmetics and it's little stars i think i use this on an instagram tutorial and so many people love the little stars and stuff so it's like sequin kind of things and i'm gonna put one like underneath here one or two like underneath just to like leave a little sprinkly glittery starry eye midnight sky you know did that rhyme bitch <laughs> so the lash glue i'm going to use just a clear lash glue this is from may rocky lashes i love their lash glue i use a black one all the time I used it today but i'm using a clear one to stick on the stars so i'm gonna pour a little bit in here the stars on the cap so i'm just gonna do like a little dot just right in the middle of my iris 
underneath here. You don't want it too close underneath here because sometimes I find you don't see it that well and then it kind of like obstructs your blinking like if you put it too close. So just a little bit underneath. Blend that out as well just so it's not like a fat blob. And then we'll pick up a star. One on its own. It's so hard to get just one. One little star here. Yeah. You see that there's a star there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need to do like a little trail of stars. A little bit small. I'm gonna try stick another one underneath. Let's see if it looks a bit better. That one lonely star. I feel like two stars is not right. It should be three stars. So I'm gonna end up the whole star on all my eyes in a second. Maybe I need one more. Okay, let me try to do the other eye and we'll see. Alright, guys, I ended up going with three stars. I've done it in like a little triangle. Okay, so this is my eyes done. I really love it. I'm gonna go in with like a lip, I think like a peachy kind of colour to go with this kind of shade. So I'm gonna go with Venus from Huda Beauty and then on top of that I'm going to go in with a liquid lipstick also from Huda Beauty is a nude one and it's from this little mini set here it comes with Venus bombshell flirt and trendsetter and I'm going to go in this shade it's called Venus liquid lipstick it's just a really nice light pale nudie peachy kind of colour all right guys so that's it for this makeup tutorial I really hope you guys liked it I love the way it turned out with all the kind of glittery greenish fading into that kind of warm brown transition shade with the little sparkles underneath the eyes it ain't a tweet tutorial without glitter that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying so if you guys haven't yet please make sure to subscribe let me know down below what other combinations you want me to film what other colors will go together what other colors do you think why not go together and you challenge me to make it work mm, that's a good video <laughs> please make sure you follow me on my other social media platforms it's just x Tweely on snapchat twitter instagram and facebook and i'll see you guys in my next video enjoy the bloopers guys bye oh dear lord my armpits are sweating so for today's Bitch, big grand tapping away in the background, working like my little minion. <laughs> Me too. Go cook pie. I like pie. Mm. But it's so. Need a brush quick. Shit, where's the brush? Oh my god, I've got 10,000 brushes and I can't find a small synthetic brush. Seriously? Right. Bitch, I'm gonna marry you tonight. Yes, Lady Gaga. What delivery did I get? Oh, a Deliveries just come. We've opened the door four times today for the delivery man. Is that all the different Yodo, DPL, freaking Royal Mail? They've all come today. So let me know down below what other comp. <laughs> so let me know down below what other color comp. <laughs> done, done, and done, Gwen. You come just on time. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hi.